Welcome to Indian Creek Bow Hunting Journal. You're watching episode number two. Got some highs and we got some lows in this one coming up. It's a great episode. Lots of cool footage. Even got some exciting things, uh, uh, some uh, axis come in. And so you'll see what happens in this episode. So stay tuned for a great hunting show. From nothing, he spoke into existence, everything that is. And he's made us his stewards of all that is his. spray is pretty important especially when you're bow hunting but I don't pay high dollar for that stuff in uh, hunting stores it's just kind of worthless you can pay pennies on the dollar for sent away spray basically all sent away spray is is uh, hydrogen peroxide you can buy this it's the two percent stuff I believe uh, three percent excuse me I don't have my glasses on um, but uh, the three percent at uh, Walmart so you buy uh, two 32 ounces of, uh, of the um, uh, hydrogen peroxide and then one gallon of distilled water, one cup of uh, baking soda, yeah the same stuff you put in your refrigerator, and then uh, one ounce of uh, unscented soap like uh, you could buy uh, the unscented soap, uh, shampoo soap, that might work, uh, or also the uh, uh, laundry detergent for hunting clothes. Just the, all you need is an ounce in there, is all you need. And then mix that together with a spoon. Don't blend it, don't shake it, it's going to get all sudsy. But, and then you put it back in the containers, but make sure you leave the container lid off because uh, you'll blow up bottles with it, all those gases. Leave that off for a couple of days and then seal them up. You're good to go. That's pretty much the same stuff you buy in the stores. It even smells the same as that stuff you buy. Um, so you can research that online and find that out. But uh, today we're basically looking for a doe, uh, most likely. Uh, but again, if we got a big buck coming in or, or any uh, exotic, we're going to take it with both. So, uh, so stay tuned, hopefully, for an exciting hunt. First one that comes in. I think that deer is big enough to survive without mama. Especially in the south. Texas. It 
is pounding. See if we can there, over there. Let's see what happens here. Just as I thought. Clean mess. This little guy, we're gonna let him walk for sure. He's got a couple more years. Now everyone has an excuse, right? Including me. <laughs> well, guess what? I had forgot to check my peep sight. If you look there, you can see my mark that I have on my peep sight. This was slipped down about an eighth of an inch. So I was shooting low. Can you believe that? But tonight I think I'm gonna redeem myself. That's what I'm hoping. Now before you start laughing at my 20 yard chip shot miss, I, want, I really want to show you that I can shoot a bow. Hey, what can I say? I messed up. <laughs> Screwed up. Maybe tonight I can redeem myself and get a deer on the ground. We'll see what happens. You know, I noticed on that video that uh, I barely missed that deer. It just went right underneath its uh, chest, as you can see. Um, and by the way, speaking of redemption, you know, uh, when it comes to bow hunting, the, it, there is a possibility of redemption, that is, if you can uh, actually shoot the next deer that comes along. But uh, when it comes to eternity, um, we can't redeem ourselves. <laughs> uh, it's kind of a problem, because uh, we kind of have a sin problem, is what the scripture tells us. And uh, the only redemption is found in the Savior, so uh, I hope you have him for eternity. Because if you don't, there is no redemption without the Savior. So uh, check it out, Romans 3.23, John 3.16. All right, man. I'm going to sit in the blind tonight and hopefully get us a nice big buck. saw Mr. O on the uh, camera last night. So maybe Mr. O will come along, or maybe Brownie. Uh, Tiny, I was looking at the pictures again. Tiny and uh, Brownie, or excuse me, T Tiny and Mr. O may be the same deer, I'm not sure. So, um, jury's still out for me on that one, so. But hang tight, we're gonna go sit in the blind, and probably in about an hour or so, maybe we'll see a doe. And maybe a bit of a buck. Who knows? Maybe we'll get a surprise. Or maybe we might even have an exotic. That'd be even more of a surprise. Alright, just got set up in the blind. Let's sit back and see what happens. Alright, first doe of the night. Yeah. 
stick around. They're probably still thinking about that shot this morning. <laughs> she gone. She's not going to come in. I think she's going to leave. Yep. Is she gone? Oh, yeah. I think those are axes. Oh, yeah. on me. Don't get nervous. That one's just munching away on the peanut butter. All right, here comes a buck. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What was it? Yeah, she's down right there. Man, that was a... That little maybe I'll be okay. Hell yeah. Yeah. Well, I thought she was down right there, but... I'm gonna give her a little bit of time. She'll, she'll expire. Probably in a few minutes, but we're gonna give her a little time. Um, I'm going to go back and get the truck, come back, follow the blood trail through there. Looks like she's been stumbling around. Um, found the last bit of blood. Couldn't uh, find anything beyond that, so um, I'm hoping I find her. It's a little scary. After she went down right there, I thought she was done right there. But I must have hit her a little uh, far forward or something for her to have that much life. So... 
unfortunately I was unable to find her. I was out there for about four hours or so. And uh, it just goes to show you that if you bow hunt long enough, this is going to happen. This is actually the first time I've ever lost a white-tailed deer. Um, unless uh, probably the only way I'm going to find her is when I see the buzzards overhead probably tomorrow. Because uh, there's just no way to find her. It's just way too thick. So um, unless uh, the buzzards show up tonight down there, I'm going to go down there and hopefully the meat is still good. But if not, uh, by tomorrow she'll probably be spoiled. It's just uh, too warm in this early season. Now, a lot of people wonder why I would have shot a deer that had a young uh, deer by its side. Well, the, the deer are old enough now, in this early, even in this early season, that they're going to survive. Especially living in Texas, in the south like this, the, the, we, the weather here in the wintertime is very, very mild. And so, uh, so shooting a, a, a doe like that is no problem at all. I've done it before. I've seen those deer grow up the rest of the uh, rest of the year, and, uh, and and never never phase them. They just go on with life. So uh, so if you it, but it does depend on your area. Just do research for your area. If you were if I was living up in Canada or Minnesota or maybe in the Midwest somewhere where you have really really hard winters, I'd think twice about shooting. A doe in early season like this but down south Mississippi Texas those kind of places uh, you really don't have to worry about it those those deer will grow up to to be adult deer so I hope you enjoyed this first episode uh, look for our next episode coming up and if you missed our first one uh, we compared the PSE brute and the PSE omen bows so you might want to check that out as well check out our website you can see some of our older videos as well take care